Hi guys, welcome back to Raven and God Roth's Tarantulas. Um, to, or uh, not today, today we're doing a lot of feedings. Um, in this video, uh, we are going to be feeding, sorry, feeding um, my Brazilian Salmon Pink Bird Eater Sling. Um, we don't know, again, if this is a boy or girl, way too young. Um, but again, they're all she's until otherwise, so they're with us longer. Um, this one we have named Loki. Uh, she's got a big old abdomen. I think she's probably going to molt soon. So with this guy, um, occasionally at my pet store, we'll have crickets small enough, um, to feed her that are alive but unfortunately it's not often so what we typically do is get off there is i will have to go in here and be annoyed by crickets apparently and my camera's probably going crazy right now um and it's unfortunate and i'm not going to do it on camera but i have to pre-kill a cricket um, before I put it in there, like, and, and really I just kind of smush its head when I, when I pre-kill it because I, uh, I want, I kind of want some movement because I don't want her to get used to just having dead prey, even though slings are known to scavenge anyway, but, um, I also, I really don't want her to get bit, um, either, you know, but I want it as live as possible. So this guy, this is my smallest cricket right now and I feel so bad. All right, I'm going to put this right here, per the usual. And what's so funny is um, she'll come out here and she will drag that big old cricket right into her tiny little hide. Um, and then you notice she doesn't have a water dish. I don't want to run the risk of um, drowning her. So what I typically do is I have one of these, um, these little dropper doodads. Then I'll go in here very, very, very carefully and I'll drip the water around the edge. And I try to keep it nice and moist in here because slings don't have the waxy coating um, protecting them like the adults do from dehydration. Um, now, there are, that doesn't mean the adults are impervious to it at all. As a matter of fact, it's the exact opposite. You have to really be careful about that. but especially depending on where they're from and the type of tarantula and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I just go in and do these little, little droplets and then I'll drop it down in her hole a little bit. I, I don't do this when she's in here because I'm terrified of drowning her, <laughs> but I give her some water. Um, and this is how I've raised all my slings. Um, most of the, most of the tarantulas I have, I raised from slings. Um, usually this small or uh, venom which is my Mexican redney was even smaller and that was my first tarantula so I did a ton of research and then I found out that slings are even harder so I did extra research on slings <laughs> um, but it seems to work and the pre-killing scavenging food um, really helps me feel better about everything because I'm terrified that especially crickets um, will damage my tarantula so um, so I kind of like pre-kill the cricket. I, um, kind of take off its head, but there's still some leg movement. I know that's way too much information. And what sucks is I feel terrible about doing it, but I have to do it for my sling to make sure she remains safe. It's just part of the hobby sometimes. Usually I don't have to do it with anything else, but sometimes slings, I have to pre-kill them and it makes me sad. Um, yeah, so that is Loki, our Brazilian salmon pink bird eater, and I totally blanked out on the scientific name for that. Um, but yeah, I will put it, it I always add it to the uh, information in the video, so I don't know why I'm blanking. It's been a long day, and this is the last tarantula, so... <laughs> All right, tune in for the other videos. We should have a total of 10 up, each with a different tarantula. Um, and also check out the Instagram where we post nice little floofy pictures of the tarantulas. So um, tune into the other videos and hope to see you there. Bye.